kind of performance in the normal muffler. That's uh, all to do with the straight pipe. So we're gonna stick this son of a bitch in fucking, uh, probably in, I don't know what that is there, B, probably B1. Now we got this big fucking thing behind it here. We're gonna just step it out of the way. Well, you're stuck with me again right now for a little while, guys. Oh, what have we done to the old 5020? Shiny yellow seat. Should uh, be good to keep Nick happy for a bit. Made some uh, filler plates for the floor deck. Got some lights on the back and wired. Purdy purdy. The uh, panel on this side was here before, but we had to do a little bit of revamping for the ROPS bar. Fit in not too bad though. It's crazy how their wiring was really so obscenely complicated for something that does fuck all really on these old tractors. Goddamn hard to run the loader, steer, run this stupid camera. I really feel for you guys that do this kind of stuff all the time. Haha, <laughs> not really. Diff lock will help. going today well long time no see <laughs> hope you like dad's uh, little video clips he made there at the beginning here um, we ended up back at the hospital for Amanda's gallbladder they took it out this time because enough was enough so we spent the last uh, few days up there but we're back home now and she's healthy as a horse she's a little bit stiff of course but uh, uh, anyone would be after having someone prod around in your guts like that so well it was five little holes in la laparoscopic or whatever you call it so whatever she's healthy as a horse now like I said so she should be good for a while I hope <laughs> but uh, yeah today we're on our way up to Mooseman it's the weekend here and uh, RPM isn't open but he got a bunch of parts in while I was away so he left them outside in their little drop-off box and I've got wrist pins and end caps here for the uh, 5020 they need them for uh, resizing the uh, new bushings and the connecting rods so bring them up and they can uh, they'll have them for Monday that way and then we'll pick up those parts for the 5020 and uh, work on putting that together here today and tomorrow kind of deal I think so it's the plan for now it's uh, like I don't know minus 40 outside with the wind it's really really shitty out so good day for going on a drive <laughs> right <laughs> anyway I guess we'll throw a little bit of gas in this in town and we'll make our way up to Mooseman so we'll talk to you in a few
anyway, <laughs> maybe a guy should ask them what they want for an open station versatile, eh? Look at that over there. No cab even. <laughs> anyway, parts should be waiting outside here somewhere. In a box, he says. They used to have like a little garden shed, but it's gone. There we go. Look at all the parts there. Excellent! Bring you back in a few. God dang it, it's cold out there. Anyway, we should have triple nozzle bodies for the sprayer. So I have three different uh, tips on there and then you can just chunk, 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 rotate it to whichever one you want. Uh, joystick and cables for 5020. He has other stuff here, but I don't want it yet till it's all here, like uh, engine components and what have you, so. Anyway. Is that a Kodiak? Nice! Now, 45 minutes back home again. A nice little road trip, eh? <laughs> all right. Talk to you when we get home. Gonna burn to the ground. <laughs> <clears throat> so, pull it together. Should do the trick. I'm gonna weld this other big crack up here. After. Got one of the 4020s in here and started doing a bit of stuff to it, but uh, most of the lights are on and Dad's just patching up some of the rust things are all fucked up on it and there's going to be a glass guy coming here in a little while, I don't know when, a few days anyway, and putting new uh, gaskets around all the windows because see how big of a gap there is there and most of them are about ready to fall out. <laughs> and then uh, needed thermostats and the injection pump on it's leaking so we're going to have to take it off and send it away. And uh, I think you had to put tie rods on it. So it's not getting the, the full nine yards, this one, for paint and everything else. He just wants to clean it up a little bit and get some lights and stuff working on it. And the uh, little heater in it. So that's the plan for this one anyway. But I guess. Bring it back again in a few. Well, I know this video is kind of all over the bloody place, but just getting back and into the swing of things here after a little uh, unexpected holiday. So, um, yeah, we're just going to start working on putting this valve together, but that'll be another on its own thing. Lights and everything are all done on 4020, so that's kind of nice. Just waiting on uh, thermostats, and then we got to send that injection pump away. And then 5020. Started working on getting this mocked up and where it needs to be, but we're going to use this pocket here that we had that uh, held the valve and everything for the uh, blade. We had just that two spool of valve with levers on it, so make a cap on here and run everything down. But dad's working on the valve over there, we got to get it put into place and see where the cables are going to go and whatnot. But yeah. That's about it, I guess, for now. So, there's a nice cap. Look at that. <laughs> Cover that up with that, but. Leave it that big? Yeah, just leave it hanging off. Like Set top. your coffee cup on top of it. <laughs> but, I think that's where I'm going to leave you. Not the longest video, but whatever. We'll start fresh tomorrow with a, a new one. So, <laughs> anyway. Thank you much for watching. Should you hit the like button, comment, subscribe for more. Talk to you in the next one. Right, Ivan. <laughs> <laughs>